As usual, I will not be slowing down or speeding up this video. I've been asked a few times how I make my scroll saw videos, and this is how I do it. I use Silhouette Studios, which comes with the Silhouette Cameo Vinyl Cutter. It is also a free download, so you do not have to purchase anything. This is absolutely free. Let's get on with it. So over here, I've already started some things, and I want to show you what I've done. So before we get started, though, I would like to let you know that all you have to do is put your mouse up here. If you click on things up here, it will tell you what's there. This one, you'll never have to use if you're just making uh, patterns for your uh, scroll saw cutting. Now, this one is object. Everything in here that you touch is actually up here. Everything that you've just seen over there is actually right here. I never ever go over here. It may be easier for some to use object and then go to each thing and click on it. But me personally, I like to use over here. And again, if you just put your mouse over it, you put your mouse over it, it tells you exactly what it is. All right, let's get started. So in order to make a circle, I click on the oval over here. And I click on the space. I hold down the shift key and the left key while I draw with my mouse or, okay, sorry. Hold on to the shift key and the left key while I draw a circle. I let go of the left key before I let go of the shift key. That is when you wanna make a perfect circle, all right? You want a perfect circle. Can you see it? The numbers are the same. Now, if I was to just click on here and just draw a circle, it is not gonna all be the same, all right? And then, if I wanted to make it the same without holding the shift and the left key, all that craziness, I would click on it. You have to make sure you click on what you actually want. And then I would come over here. Let me move myself out of your way to where it says scale. So this is the scale of the object that you're working on. Again, it is right here. It's a square and it has three squares inside of it. All right, so what you would do first is turn off the lock aspect. All right, let's make the bottom the same as the top. It's 3.026, 3.026. Zero two six, and press apply. And as you see, my circle is now a perfect circle. All right, enough of that. So in order to duplicate, you can either right click and press the word duplicate, or you can go ahead here to the replicate box, and it will let you duplicate as many as, well, not as many as you want. You can do a row four like that or you can do a uh, rotate two copies anyway i'm going to go ahead and get on with the pattern so these circles are exactly the same one of the circles i'm going to go ahead and make just a little bit bigger i'm going to stick this little one inside of it and then i'm going to capture them both once i capture them both i'm going to go here this is the align bu uh, button i'm going to Make sure that it's centered. And before I click on it, I'm going to right click and make it a compound path. All right. So when you make something a compound path, what you're actually doing is you're making it an object of its own. Let me show you what happens if I don't make it a compound path and I just put those together. Okay. I collect them and I center, all right? And if I go up here to the fill window and fill it in, you see what happens? But if I go ahead and capture them both, right click and make it a compound path, it is now its own object, okay? And that is what I did here. So I'm going to fill it in to make sure of what I have. And now I'm going to duplicate it. 
duplicated it. I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Why? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. No, I'm not going to make it a little bit bigger. So I duplicated it. And I think I might duplicate it one more time. All right. So let's put these circles in a pattern. Okay. That looks good. Well, to me, anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and find a letter and put it in. My name is Mytoya. That's M-Y-T-O-Y-A. And I will find a better font. I like this one. I'm going to fill it in as well so that we can see it better. All right. And then I'm going to put it right here in the center and make it touch. All right. So let's pull this in closer so we can see what we're doing. Right now, I think this is pretty good. So if I wanted to keep this, I would go ahead and, well, let me make the M a little bit bigger. There we go. If I want to keep this, I would capture all of it and then right click on it and press weld. Now that I've welded it, it is all one object. And in order to cut this, now when I cut my scroll saw patterns, I never, ever, ever fill my pattern. Filling it means putting a color in your pattern. I never do that. Instead, follow my mouse. I go over here and I click the box right there and I make line art. I like line art so much better. I like practicing staying on the line just in case I need to make something that needs to um, fit to another project. Thank you so much for joining me. Next week, I'd like to show you guys how to make this M pattern. If you have any questions or would like to show me some of your projects or just interact with me, contact me on my Instagram at mytoya in California.